Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to install this brand new SSD on your Mac. So you're gonna have one terabyte right now. This really goes out to anything, <laughs> whether whatever SSD you guys have, it's the same instructions. I already made a video back in 2016 about this 2011 MacBook. And uh, back then I installed a 480 gig, and right now I'm updating it to one terabyte. So it's pretty easy to do this, so we're gonna get right onto it. But before we even take this apart, just make sure to use Time Machine. Time Machine is something that's pre-installed on your Mac already. So make that backup using Time Machine, and then we're gonna reinstall the OS on this brand new SSD, just using that Time Machine. And we're gonna be doing that using an external hard drive. So this is an external hard drive. I'm not saying to buy this one exactly, but just buy an external hard drive in order to work Time Machine and just reinstall the OS plus all your apps. Everything, Time Machine will back up everything in your Mac and then you guys will just have to place it back here. And that's it, it's gonna reinstall your OS, all your apps, all your documents, everything, all right? So it's gonna make it really, really easy. That's why I highly suggest using Time Machine. So let's just get down to this. So let's just look at the what we're installing first of all. So this is the SSD we're installing, it's one terabyte. What you guys getting here is this thing that could help you out maybe. Then here's the important part, which is your SSD. So that's how it looks like. This is a one terabyte. And you guys should get this thing, okay, that we're gonna place on here later on. So the very first thing that you guys should do is make sure you have no static on your hands. So just touch some wood. And throughout the process, just touch some wood so you have no static. Your computer should have been turned off for at least 30 minutes at least and then you guys can take it apart so we're going to take out all these little screws right here we're just using this guy right here and all we have to do is but from back here you guys can put your fingers in and just pop it open all right so at this point what we have to do is just disconnect the battery which is really easy i'm just going to use a little handyman right here or well, you guys can anything that's plastic or anything just to pop this open and try not to touch none of this stuff so what we're gonna do is slide this under here and then pop it open okay so now we have this disconnected so it's important to have our battery disconnected just so no electricity is running through it by the way this is your ram so if you guys want to change your ram this is the time to do it so at this point we're gonna take out these two screws right here so you only have those two so let's just take those out. I'm using the same screwdriver, by the way. The same one works for this. So here we go. We're taking this piece out. And then we have this guy. So right now we can pop him out. All we have to do is this. And here we're gonna have a connection. So this guy didn't seem to stick 100% on this, but that's what we're gonna have to do with our next one anyways. This guy, we're gonna pop it out. Shouldn't be that hard. There we go, it came loose. So that's how you will put in the new one anyways. And we need to take out these screws as well. So to take these screws out, we're gonna need something like this. All right. Now here's our old one, let's just put it away which looks exactly like our new one. Here's our new one, and we have to place those screws onto the new one, all right? So this is the one terabyte. So we're gonna place these screws right there. The next thing that we have to do is take out this from the old. So there we go, so we took it out. We're gonna put it into new one. So nothing's gonna happen if you guys forget the step or if you guys couldn't do this step. It's not matter, okay? It's not a huge deal. So at this point, we can finally just hook this up. All right, so this just goes right here. Again, there's no really wrong way to put this. You can't really put it the wrong way. You should slide in pretty easy. As long as it's nice and tight, Pretty much done you guys can place this here like that and just place it down next we just need to put this back here again so this will lock it into place 
All right, guys, that should be nice and tight. Let's just make sure. And then what we need is to place this guy. So as you guys saw from the other one, it kind of comes off later. But uh, you do have this tape right here. Okay, and the reason why we put this is because this SSD is thinner. So we need something to make it pop up a little bit. And that's why this is right here. So here's our battery. Again, we have to just plug it in. It's all plugged in. At this point, just clean up your Mac a little bit if you want. And then we're just going to put the lid on again. So what you want to do is press Command R as you're turning on your Mac. You don't have to have your external hard drive connected at this point, but you can. And it should go into recovery mode. If it doesn't, just turn it off again, turn it back on. Before you turn it back on, hold on to Command R. All right, and hold on to it until you actually see something happening on your screen. If you guys don't see anything, keep holding on to that Command R. It really depends on your Mac. If you guys see a folder icon or something like that, it means that you guys didn't press Command R fast enough and just turn it off. Okay, so hold on to the button to turn it off. And then once it's completely off, turn it back on. But before you turn it on, just press Command R. Okay, if you guys see that folder and a question mark, this is exactly what you guys should be seeing. And you guys should be seeing this little icon plus the loading bar. At this point, you guys can actually let go of Command R. All right, guys, so at this point, you guys should have seen a black screen. Then this pops up, all right? So right now, we're going to select disk utility. And that's because we have to format our SSD. So let's just go right into disk utility. Continue. And we're going to have to pick our internal HD. So here's our internal. Don't worry if you guys don't see all these other options. These other options because I have my external hard drive hooked up and that's why I have all these other things. You guys should just see this plus this, okay, your base system. But that's it. So just choose the first one, which is my terabyte. Click on erase, which is right here. What you guys want to choose is this extended journal. So that's already picked for us. So just make sure that's it. So extended journal. And then you guys can put whatever name you guys want. So I'm going to put in MacBook. All right, that way I know that's the internal hard drive. That's for my own reference. You guys can put any name that you guys want. I'm going to click on Erase. So it's going to format it. That's going to erase everything within that SSD, which has nothing because it's brand new. So that should have been pretty fast. And we should see right now, right here, our MacBook Pro HDD. So we're done with this. So let's just click on the red button. We have our time machine hooked up. So we can just restore everything from our time machine. Okay. Or if you guys don't have a time machine, you guys never did that. You guys can just reinstall Mac OS X. That's going to reinstall it. And you guys are good to go. From there, you guys can update it and so on. But... If you guys did what I told you, Time Machine, which is the best way to do things and transfer everything over, that's what you guys should pick. And then just go to continue. It's going to tell you this. So you just go to continue again. You're going to select your Time Machine, which is Time Machine MacBook. Yep. Continue again. And I'm going to pick which one's my latest one. So that's my latest one. It's usually the top one. What you guys want to do is select your destinations. Obviously, it's your internal HDD, which I called it MacBook Pro HDD. I know I should have maybe called it SDD, right? <laughs> or SD. Anyways, let's just put restore. Don't worry if you guys don't see these other ones. Those are just, it's part of my external hard drive. All right, so this is the toughest part, the longest part, not toughest part, the longest part, because I have a ton of files from my external hard drive, and those are going to transfer to my SSD. Now, once those are my SSD, that's going to run really fast, and you're going to see that your Mac is amazing, and just restarts all your folders, all your apps, 
everything's there already and that's what's amazing about time machine okay guys so this will take some time to restore it's gonna restore everything like i mentioned and that's it for this video anyways if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you